crisis, crisis, crisis. We have a crisis on our hands. You know what it is? It's this. And a little old virus is plaguing the world. Have you run out of this? Have you got abundance of this under your house? Are you hoarding this? I got news for you, kid. Unless you've got about 50,000 of these, your jackpile ain't worth shit. That was by no means the excuse to go out and get any more than you need. <laughs> Seriously, we have people currently all over the world. I thought it was just Australia, but then apparently it ended up being everywhere. Everywhere is affected by this crazy mindset that for some reason a respiratory virus is encouraging you to take a goddamn shit. We are losing our damn minds. And Lord knows, as my evidence, people in the supermarkets are starting UFC fights for something to cushion their butthole. Round one, fight! Impressive. Hey, Bob, that's enough! Ain't joking. Look how much is in the card. That's half the supermarket shelf. Just straight to defending family members. Excuse me, get away from my daughter. Don't you touch her. Don't, don't you touch her. You get back. You get back. You get back. I just want one pack. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I get it that, you know, it looks like we've got a family here. There's a few of them. Let's be real. The, the, from, from the ethnicity, there's probably a big family. But do you really need that much? Do you really? Like, what are you planning with that? What's the limit? Oh, the hero. Yes. Mr. White Knight. The White Knight. I love how he went from being the absolute bodyguard to just being like, I'm a lean back like a casual manager. Yeah, back to work now. I done my thing. Oh, 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 she went for the karate chop. Oh, oh, that's my ton of paper. <laughs> She's like some sort of like ancient action figure. The other big thing that's happening with the coronavirus at the moment is that basically everything to do with life socially is being canceled. Like everything. All public events are closing down. You have major league sports clubs playing in arenas to no one to protect the players and keep them safe. Imagine how weird that would be. Just being a professional athlete that's always used to playing in front of a crowd. And then all of a sudden, playing to a boneyard. There's just no one around. Doesn't that affect you mentally? So the football's down. We got airplanes being grounded. Flights being cancelled. Here in Oz, domestic flights are declining. Overseas flights are basically becoming null and void. Simple things in and around the world are being cancelled. So many workplaces are being talked about that they're going to lose money and lose people because people are going to be out of work because they're sick from the coronavirus. So people are losing their jobs preemptively because of this virus. COVID-19 typically causes flu-like symptoms including a fever and cough. In some patients, particularly with the elderly and other chronic health conditions, these symptoms can develop into pneumonia, chest tightness, chest pain, and shortness of breath. It seems to start with a fever followed by a dry cough. So far, we haven't talked anything about needing this. 80.9% of infections are mild with flu-like symptoms and can recover at home. 13.8% are severe, developing severe diseases including pneumonia, and shortness of breath. Still haven't talked much about this yet. Even as we go through examples of possible development of symptoms, each category of different examples from actual cases does not talk 
about anyone shitting themselves. Oh, hold on. Towards near the very bottom, we go through a list of common symptoms. To the very bottom one, diarrhea, 3%. Oh my God. I'm so glad that I bought 40 cases of toilet paper. I am so prepped and ready for this 3% that's gonna hit my asshole. My family's gonna be safe. My friends and relatives are gonna congratulate me. I may even win an award for how prepared I was for a leaky asshole. All right, now that we talked about toilet paper and how you don't really need an underground bunker worth and that you can share it with everyone else in your community and we've stated the facts, let's have a look at memes. Coronavirus finally infects whole world. Plaguing players, total organ failure. I feel like if anybody had played that game on your phone and knows exactly how to basically kill the entire world, they would be the ones to follow because they would have the mindset of what to do or avoid everyone else that's gonna get it. Two weeks in quarantine, me, work. I mean, that's just general sickness. They always say, okay, boomer, but they never say, you okay, boomer? <laughs> I love the look of the guy, how he's so deep in contemplation about how his plane tickets got canceled. Tokyo Olympics, as designed, as it turns out, Tokyo 2020. <gasps> My God, my God, it's all making sense. It's all revealed. Why does it look like a bit of cotton? How many new cases of coronavirus in New York City? 11 today, same as yesterday, but you only gave us 11 tests per day. 11 new cases, not great. Not terrible, but not great. I love how they use the Chernobyl reference in this. That was such a great show. That was a great, great show. Equal catastrophe. I mean, that was pretty much a lot worse, but yeah, equal. Watch it if you haven't seen it. Oh, wow. It's everyone's new favorite pop vinyl. Everyone must add this to the collection. You gotta get this on your shelf. You are suddenly sneezing and coughing. It a panic. It could be a common cold. Down. You have a sudden urge to travel. Panic. Panic. Masks. Coronavirus. <laughs> oh no. Phil. Phil, you couldn't even stop it. Flex tape ain't gonna do shit. It ain't gonna save us. Coronavirus can be killed by alcohol. See, I heard this rumor and I've been trying to keep up with it. And I'll be honest, I haven't caught Corona yet. Oh my God. Death Stranding became real. Look at this guy. What? The only thing he needs next is about 20 cartons on his back. I know this is about a pandemic and everything else like that, but I mean, Kojima would be pretty damn proud of this guy. Humanity, you can't defeat me. Coronavirus, I know, but he can. <laughs> Stock market collapse. <laughs> Chinese government, hey, I need you to cause a distraction. Coronavirus, we're all gonna die. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's one. No one likes to show off. There's one. I mean, seriously, who the hell are these people? Everyone that I've asked, no one is doing this. No one is stocking up on 20,000 leagues of toilet paper. Who are these people? Who are you? Where in the level of society are you? Small brain. Medium brain. Big brain. Quantifiable brain. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. That antivirus ain't gonna help you. It's never helped anyone. So I said to Arnie, where'd you get these toilet rolls? He said, I'll be back. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If you saw Arnold in real life and he was he was carrying around toilet paper like that, I'm still gonna be scared as f That man would be up to something. If they remade Predator and replaced the Predator with the coronavirus and then showed that to society 500 years in the future, it's like a monument. We had one hero. And he went and fought the virus and we won and he blew it up with a nuclear bomb. Thank you, Arnold. Everybody thinking I got coronavirus, me just being allergic to pollen. <laughs> Mistakes make you stronger. Guy who ate the bat. <laughs> Imagine if the guy who started all this uh, ended up becoming like the first X-Men. And we actually got like, it was the start of the X-Men in real life and we all just got powers from this. Maybe this is how it all happens. Maybe it's not such a bad thing. Maybe we just need to put the toilet paper down and let these powers come to be. What would your superpower be if you ate a bat and turned into an X-Men? Leave it in the comments. Me and the squad are trying to catch coronavirus so we can skip work. See, that's the other thing I don't get is there's a rumor going around that alcohol helps to kill the virus. And yet Corona sales, because it's got the word Corona in it, 
has declined massively. Oh, no, I tell a lie. Americans say they won't drink Corona beer because of coronavirus. Sales are up 5% anyway. <laughs> well, we don't give a shit about the word. We just want to drink our beer. Oh, this, this explains it. This is the reason why people are stockpiling all the toilet paper. That is right, everyone. Toilet paper man. Toilet paper man is the new superhero that is gonna save the day. He is our legacy. He is the one person that can turn this all around. He is the ultimate fighting machine. I mean, look at him. Plunge him. Two rolls. He only needs two rolls because the rest are bound around his body. He looks like a confused mummy that just came back to life and then got given a job as a janitor. Oh no, they got Disney. Like, seriously, what is it with the people that are infected that are just trying to travel the rest of the world? I mean, we don't need to worry about coronavirus taking over and leaving you stuck to the toilet. We need to worry about coronavirus taking over brain. Well, that's all I got for this video, guys. If you finally got yourself some toilet paper, smash like, hit subscribe. And in all seriousness, if you do have some toilet paper and you, your neighbors or loved ones don't have any, share a roll. It's the gift that keeps on giving, especially when your ass keeps on giving. Lastly as well, guys, I just want to say a big thank you. We finally reached 100 subscribers on the channel to congratulate. <sighs> but truly, thank you so much for the ongoing support. It really means a lot. Uh, we'll continue to go forward and reach for new goals. Be good. Take care of yourselves. Don't use all the toilet paper in the world. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.